Alrighty guys, I'm back here with some drive shafts for my semi trucks. They they finally came in. So these guys are gonna go in the F three fifty because we got the one really long drive shaft I need, which I robbed out of it for the king hauler, and one short shaft. These are the ones that are gonna go in the king hauler. Gen Fax, hardened universal shafts. Here's one out of the package, because uh it wasn't very fun to deal with. They're they um, wrap them up and staple them, and then it turns out that they're heat shrinked across, so whatever. Okay, so we got these rings, and they are retainers for for those pins right there. So you got to take the shaft apart and put them inside, and then once you're done greasing, you apparently move these those snap rings here into place on top. It's kind of weird, but like, see, thread lock compound on the inside it's got to do with that bar in there and like 36 degrees is the maximum angulation I guess yeah maximum angle of the universal shaft is 36 degrees I don't believe I'll be passing that but definitely gotta gotta grease these and you gotta thread lock them cause it's just they don't move very easy so I gotta get all that done and then we'll get them into this truck here. You get the old ones off first. So I got the the old dry shaft off, which wasn't too hard. It was a uh, screw through with a nut on the other side. But this side here, you see there's not much for it to hang on to. And I'm not sure why it's that short, but I guess it is. But the problem I'm running into now, as you can see, doesn't have much to grip onto. So I think I'm going to pull out the Dremel again and uh, buzz that end off so it's just the big part there. Hopefully that will hold a lot better. And like that, it's into place. So not going to lie, that grinding sucked because it takes quite a bit to get that much material to come off. This thing's still pretty warm, like, ooh. It is definitely hardened steel. It is not uh, pot metal stuff should have done is got some more of these guys but it's pretty much the same thing just doesn't have that little retaining ring thing to pop around I did um, put them in both sides I am gonna back them off and uh, thread lock them later just gotta make sure to get everything changed out first looking this over I thought this one had plastic in there but no I know where this one come from this one's not going to break. Um, these I got off of uh, Asia Tees and they're originally for the SCX-10. So that's a good crawler shaft already. I didn't need to get two of them. Oh darn. Uh, it is good to have backups though because you never know when you're going to blow a drive shaft. A little bit of play in there but nothing bad. And then there's the stock dog bone which is still going strong. Yeah, they're, they're looking good. This axle's locked. This one is not. This one is not. So it does pretty good going through the material. Doesn't get stuck or anything like that. And I found the box is the best way to support these trucks. Because with these horns for the antlers and the, the mirrors and stuff like that, you don't want them getting smushed up, especially when you're getting close to the race day. Only other thing I'm going to do now is these tires have to be changed out to the to the grippies but uh, they're over here still and they are still dirty from last time I'm gonna have to hmm should put these out on the deck with the with the rainstorm to see if that melts the crap off of them or not but I wouldn't want to see them disappear so probably gonna grab a bin and scrub brush I have one I think up under the monitor there and we'll go to town on these because they're dripping crap everywhere here but that's it for for this guy for what it's getting done uh, I still got put dress shafts in the F350 and I gotta put the other 3 to 1 gear reduction into the globe liner and I believe that is what's going to be coming up next so till next time guys we'll see ya it's a short and sweet one but hey we're back in business